The last time you were here, we were we were barely getting out of the pandemic. You were doing house parties, and we were talking about plans of you going back to the Philippines. Yeah, it finally happened. It finally <laughs> happened. Well, thanks to you know your guys' help here. I mean, you guys because you know going to a different country and playing is a challenge, right? Because you don't there's you know Philippines so much music going on there, yeah. so many people putting on shows and promoting and doing all these things. It's really hard to know where to go. Um, like who's legit, who's, yeah, who's not. legit, who's not. And that's every country, right? You know, and um, luckily in the States, because I'm, I'm American, I'm, you know, I have, I was grew up with more connections. So I've met yes. more people like you. Very blessed to, to have met you guys, man, seriously, because that's, that made it possible for me to be able to go to the Philippines and, and really benefit from uh, being able to play music there properly and have it be a really incredibly <laughs> enjoyable experience. It was freaking awesome. So let's compare, yeah. let's compare um, you, the first time that did not happen, like a sh bummer. Yeah. And the neck, then the second time where it finally happened. Yeah. Was it how, it, how you envisioned it or was it better, worse? Yeah. Uh, it was better. It was better because, you know, I was talking to Mark Tupaz, yeah. you know, early, early on. And he was, you know, he was the one like, do you really need to come? And, and that was really Mark how. Mark Tupaz from Shamrock. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And, and, and Mark is, love Mark. And so he's like, you know, you, he's like, if we get you there and it's, and we get the right situation, it's, you're going to be blown away at how amazing it is to play. So that's music. what he said, right? Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, we ran into some, some problems mm -hmm. along the way. And then of course the, the pandemic, because the pandemic, pandemic et cetera, happened. et cetera, et cetera. So, um, so it took a while for that to come for Soko, but but he and I have been talking, and he's like, "I told you, right? It's amazing." And I'm so like, tell us, we want to hear yeah. the story. So what was the story? What was it? What was it like finally going to the Philippines? So when that Manila Manila temperature hit you uh, as yeah. you got off the plane, how yeah. did it feel? Well, it was forty seven degrees Celsius. <laughs> so it was like one hundred and twenty. <laughs> you know, they were sticky. It, yeah, it was sticky. They were breaking records. Um, and uh, so, you know, you get hit by the heat immediately. It's like, wow. Right away, I, right? I, off I, the plane, right? Yeah, right off the plane. And I, you know, just so you know, I took one of my boys with me. Um, my son, he's he's 6'4". Oh, my God. You know, he's just huge. And he loves Asia, first off. That, that's where he wants to live. And he'd just been in, in uh, Thailand and Vietnam okay. for like six or seven months. <laughs> so I was like, do you want to go to Philippines with me? And he's like, hell Yeah. <laughs> He absolutely loved it. So we get off. He loves the heat. And so he was just, you know, because, you know, we live in England. And he's like, I hate it. It's cold all the time. I, you know, rains constantly. It's like a nightmare. Anyway, so we get there. And it's just beautiful. I mean, right right from the get-go, as soon as you land. I, Like, I'm going through, you know, normally when you, you know, you check in, you got to go through customs and passport control and all that stuff like that. I'm going through the diplomatic yes. entrance, right? Signing autographs the whole way. <laughs> I mean, it's... It was just, I mean, and that's how it started. It was just, just, just wonderful and crazy. And everybody was just so lovely. And then, and this time too, to be able to go to a lot of the other provinces and things like mm. that and, and experience all the, all the different places. That Wait, the so there's Manila and then Bukidnon. Okay. So after the airport, what time did you arrive? At night, in the morning? I don't even I want to, I want to, I want to hear. I was so, because we, you know, you, you leave from London yeah. and we went through, um, went through Hong Kong. I know. And then, yeah, right. And then, uh, yeah, Hong Kong. And it's just, I can't even remember. We did. I think it was in the evening. Oh, the food. Oh, oh my yeah. God. The, yeah, the, reason the, why I'm, the reason why I'm asking, normally mm -hmm. if you arrive in the morning, yeah. you're going to get fed from the day, from the moment you arrive yeah. up to the evening. Yeah, there's there's no shortage of food options. No, right? Yeah, and we would go out. We, I mean, we went out to a bunch of different, like, fantastic restaurants. And uh, we, we went to uh, Hard Rock Manila, of course. Mm, in Makati. Right? Yeah. yeah. And I, I sat in with the band. There, we're, there was a band playing. Inner uh, Voices. Uh, yes. Yes. One of the best local yeah. bands. Shout out to Absolutely. Inner Voices. Absolutely. I mean, that kid who's singing in that band is uh, awesome, man. Yeah. And they're all super Long hair? Guys. Yeah. Yeah. Lovely, lovely guy. And, and was very gracious of him to let me, you know, sing. But I went up and sang Counting Blue Cars mm. with them. And that was that was a cool rock moment. I'm kind of related to that keyboard player, oh, Joseph okay. Cruz. Okay, you guys have a picture together. He is the uncle of my ex-wife. So, oh wow, okay. We used to be in a band together. Oh, that's awesome. And when okay. Counting Blue Cars first came out, we actually covered it right away. Oh, that's brilliant. Yeah. Well, that's the funny thing is you you can go in there and it's like uh, you know you want to play some sure you guys, you guys know Counting Blue Cars. And they're like, of course we do. <laughs> More than that. <laughs> 
<laughs> exactly. So, um, so it was great. So that that was a that was a, a fun because I so one of the really interesting things about this time around was that instead of bringing my own band, which is what I was going to yes. do in in twenty twenty, was um, I ended up playing with a band that were all Filipinos Fili of all Filipinos, and, and you've never met. I, them. I've never met them. I I I've never done that before. What was the, your? I, well, I, I want to know what was going on inside your oh, head. I was I was terrified. <laughs> you know that it, it may not jive, and and you know and. and is there's very little time let to, me yeah. let me cut you short yeah. let me set it up guys yeah. this is according to mark tupas this is how jr is he's a stickler for his arrangement his <laughs> composition the delivery of how you sing because uh one of mark tupas's uh, songs was actually produced and co-written by by uh, jr himself and mark tupas would tell me my god I thought it sounded good. He said it did not sound anything close to good. So, so he has high standards, and um, how is it OCD when it comes to his music? Yeah. So this is the first time. There you go. I just set it up. I'll yeah, go. Yeah. Well, just, I mean, to be fair, Mark, he he would sing something and it would sound great. To be fair to okay. him, but I would say I know you can do better. Yes. So I would get him go back and sing it again. And sure enough, he's like, okay, fair enough. It does sound better. So, um, but yeah. So I obviously, yeah. That's I'm used to this certain level of really having everything together and you know. And we only have a couple of days to rehearse. I don't, I don't. I've never met any of these guys before. You know, all musicians are different. So, so you did know their playing style, their no, their capability, no. and their personality. Exactly. Exactly. And you know how important personality yes. is, yes. right? Alone, right? That yes. that can really be a problem, right? So, um, but you know, we're sending information back and forth, right? Doing the best we can as I'm as I'm planning on heading out, and we just we go in and we rehearse in in Manila, like day after I, I land. And so, what I, happened when Paulo Manuel, who, who is the who is your drummer in the Philippines, yeah, yeah. when he first counted you off, and this was the this was like here oh, we go. Yeah. yeah. Well, I could immediately tell that that. He, that Paulo can play because I mean I know I know if somebody's got feel within the first five seconds right you know he's great and he bless his heart man he's <laughs> he he doesn't want to overplay everybody's very very conscious of of me okay like probably and I'm sure they learned over you know that they don't have to be tiptoe <laughs> around me or anything like that but you know they're all very you know concerned to making sure I'm cool so he's really laying back and playing you know very gently and, and i'm you know it's like do your thing man you know you you know what you're doing and he's awesome so um but everybody yeah was just really 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 talented and um and we got on like we've been you know hanging, yeah. hanging out for years we saw the vids and the pictures yeah, and yeah. i was like it's just um yeah it's just such a such a great time so um yeah, so I, I got over myself, and it was it ended up being this incredible experience. So, so when I go back in twenty twenty five, it's them. I'm, it's them. Yeah, it, without without a doubt. And but so how does that um how does that change your perspective as a musician, as an artist, as a person, knowing full well that it wasn't goodbye, it's see you later with regard yeah. to these musicians. Yeah. All of a sudden, you're J R Richards, but you're building a core group, Goosebumps. So you're building a core group in places that. Probably for in the future, when you go to Th to Thailand, mm -hmm. there's a band. You have a band there, Philippines, a band there, or what? I don't know. Is that could that be a possibility? Yeah, for you? absolutely. I mean, I'm much more. I'm now open to the idea, <laughs> and uh, not terrified of the idea of doing that. Because you, you know, for me, all of a sudden, I don't have real control over what's going on, and you just have to to uh, you know figure it out. But yeah, but that you know, you, you see that that work that works really well. I'm actually going to do. This, probably do the same thing next year in Australia. Mm -hmm. So, and and I'll be playing with a band from from, from Australia. Australia. Yeah, yeah. You know, it'll be the same same kind of scenario. But I'm not I'm not freaked out about it. I'm okay with it. So. Visit abbotteservices.com for fast medical transcription service. This podcast episode is brought to you by AB Music Creative.